these are my collection of books put out by Scribes of the Sparn. Um, there's a series of adventure modules and uh, campaign gazetteer uh, put out by, I think, principally Jim Johnson's the main um, mover behind this. Planet Eris is his uh, campaign world, as best as I can tell. I first learned about it from his blog, which he kind of gave, his Planet Eris uh, OD&D house rules. So these are largely uh, meant for OD&D play, but you can use them with any kind of early uh, first edition Holmes or BX kind of system. I'm going to look at the Gazetteer last. It's the most recent thing, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, so I'm going to give a quick look at each of these... Uh, uh, adventures. I'm not going to go into depth in each of the, one of these, but I just kind of going to give a general sense of them. So if you are a player and these are kind of things, something that might be up your alley, uh, you might want to kind of tune out. I'm not going to give spoilers really uh, for these, but um, just beware. Um, this one is the first one that came out in like 2014, I think. It is a um, kind of a funhouse uh, dungeon. Um, and these are all kind of the A5 European digest size. They're saddle stitched, uh, staple bound. These are print on demand through Lulu. Um, I think you can also get them through Drive Through RPG. Um, but it's got great black and white old school art, kind of a sans serif type base. Um, but just a really well done old school adventure. Um, I think the. Hard to impress Bryce Lynch gave this uh, a best uh, distinction. And people are always looking for Christmas themed or holiday themed adventures and wondering what's a good one to run. Although I haven't run this one myself, um, it's a very cool adventure just based on reading for levels two through four. Um, to kind of give you the essence of it, it's kind of like uh, Father Christmas meets Baba Yaga. And starting with this one, I think he starts with a pullout section in the middle with player maps and uh, DMs reference sheets in here, DM maps. And that's super helpful for running adventures in, you know, in the middle of play for reference. And at the back here, he's got uh, a section for new monsters, uh, new magic items and new spells. So that's pretty nice. This one's kind of a trap puzzle dungeon. Uh, it's kind of a concept theme to it. Again, it's got that nice uh, pullout section here um, with handouts for the players to kind of reference as well as DM uh, section there. So even if you didn't want to pull them out, they're at the, in the middle for easy reference. Uh, very cool. Uh, I think this is the most recent of the adventures. This kind of has a uh, S3 expedition to the Buried Peaks kind of vibe to it, which should give you some indication of what you find in it. Cool uh, Peter Mullen cover on there. So it's kind of got that, you know, space fantasy kind of early OD&D uh, kind of feel to it. Pull out section there as well. And finally, this is the most recent thing. It's the Gazetteer for his uh, campaign world. There is a map to this. I don't own it. Uh, I hope to because it's very cool. Um, the feeling of the world has kind of a Greyhawk meets Hyperborea kind of Judge's Guild um, kind of vibe to it. Um, and the nice thing about this is it's actually um, system neutral. Um, although the feel is very old school, you could technically run this with 5e or any other modern system. Um, there are no stats in this. It gives you kind of a history of the world. Um, on this planet, uh, there are uh, seasons are 111 years long. And true winter is when uh, humanity goes underground and demons walk the earth. And the cool part about this is it gives you kind of a, a central conceit for why there is an underworld, why there is, you know, why there are dungeons. Um, but he kind of gives you uh, the different planets, uh, planet of undeath ruled by Orcus, 
So again, uh, tied to that D and D theme, kind of a history of the world calendar, that kind of thing. Uh, talks about languages and the different races on the world. He goes into the cultures and gives you kind of like populations and you know, city states, important kind of places like that. Um, the different kingdoms and factions. Um, so this is completely usable no matter what kind of system you're running it in, even if you're not running OD&D. &D. Um, there is a kind of a gods and demons section that have a very strong uh, old school kind of vibe to it. You know, you'll see the gods of Stygia, you know, Horus, Ra, that kind of thing. The Egyptian gods are in there. The demons. Um, and a lot of people are looking for just a good kind of campaign world that's not kitchen sink high fantasy. This is something worth checking out. Um, these are all pretty cheap. They're at uh, drive through They're at Lulu. Um, and it's worth a look if even if you're not into into the adventures of gazetteer it's worth a look if you're if you already have your own campaign world uh the adventures are very cool so worth checking out